Y'all wanna know the tea? I do too, so <laughs> I'm gonna take this hood off. Let's see. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Curly Beauty, aka Alexis, if you didn't know my name, it's been four months. Actually, let me check. I got this hair on October 19th of 2018, and today is March 5th of 2019. So, it will be almost five months coming up on the 19th of March, but I had this hair for four months. This is Ali Pearl's Deep Wave hair, this is their 16 inch closure with the lengths 18, 20, and 22. So I know you guys have been wondering like how this hair has been holding up. I didn't know that that video was gonna blow up, y'all. Honestly, I just posted it and all of a sudden the numbers just kept going up and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, y'all wanna see what this hair looks like? Four months in, huh? Okay, so we are about to see what's underneath the hair okay so honestly this is just going to be an update on this hair because i've got a lot of comments and questions asking like you know how this hair has been holding up so y'all want to know the tea i do too so <laughs> i'm gonna take this head off let's see okay okay this is the hair this is the hair I have not touched this hair in a while, okay? So this is what it looks like without me conditioning it. I just wanna let you guys know that this hair does get dry. As you can see, take a good look at it. Yes, boo. <laughs> but bitch is still gonna go out looking like this, okay? You know, I got some knots up in here, but I'm going to revive this hair back to life to show you guys how bomb this hair is. This isn't gonna be a tutorial just because I don't want it to be too long, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and wash and condition this hair and I'm just gonna come back and tell you guys, you know, what I wash my hair with and everything so you guys can know the tea. I will leave everything in the description box so you guys can also purchase it. But before we get started, I'm just going to brush this hair out only because I like to brush my hair before I wash it. Um, I got some comments saying that I shouldn't be brushing my hair while it's dry and all that stuff. And honestly, my hair was fine. I didn't get that much shedding with this hair either. Like, I know I complained about shedding. That's only because I made the wig and it was shedding like crazy, you know, cause I just made it and I cut the tracks and everything. And I think that's the only reason why I got that much shedding. This is what sis has been rocking with, okay? And my wig is not secured down, all right? So we're not going to judge here, remember. So yes, I am starting at the ends and then working my way up. I mean, I do get some type of shedding, I'm not gonna lie, but it's not like nothing crazy. Like when I first got the hair, that was bad, y'all. Like I honestly was scared, but um, I don't know what change, what type of voodoo is in this hair, but it was not shedding after I made it into a wig, so, you know. It's actually one of my favorite wigs ever in my collection. Um, I really wish I could show you guys how long it goes. Gotta stand on my tippy toes for y'all. So, I am going to wash this hair. I'm gonna be right back for you beauties. Okay. Let me go wash this hair and I'll be right back. All right guys, so we are back. I finished washing my hair. I'm just gonna show you what I washed my hair with. And I have a towel on because this like hair is soaking wet. I washed my hair with this Argan Oil Shampoo and it is sulfate free. I usually use shampoos that are sulfate free for any curly hair that I get. I also conditioned it with this intensive deep conditioner from the Hair Gods. And you guys can use my code Alexis to get some coins off of this and their hair, any products on their site. And I will link that below. And this leaves my hair so soft. That conditioner is the key. And I left it in my hair for about 30 minutes. 
Um, you can leave it in for 30 minutes to an hour after shampooing your hair. And I only shampooed it once. Actually, I just took my towel off because it's a pain in the neck. So now that my hair is all shampooed and nice and soft, I'm just brushing it. And I'm just using this brush, Wu Chow the Ghetto. The handle broke. So if you guys are coming from my previous video, I am using the same brush. I kind of, I'm just doing the same routine as last time. Nothing really changed except that I conditioned it this time. So I just like to brush it while it's wet to get all the naps out. I'm taking my spray bottle from Sally's and this is like a mist spray bottle. It comes out, it's like a mist. I love it so much. Even though I just washed it, I like to redamp it again. Yo, these curls are so pretty. And the next thing that I'm going to be doing is taking this Main Choice Daily Moisturizing and Sealing Cream. And it looks like this. You can get this at Sally's. The Main Choice products are actually in stores now. So that's tea. And I just take about like this size. And I start from the top of my head just to help with the frizziness up there. And then I just take the product into the rest of the hair like this. I try not to put too much product in because like I said in my previous video, I don't like when my curls are weighed down. I like it to have at least some type of body to it or volume. So now what I'm doing is I'm just taking my brush and I'm brushing outward like this. I know some people ask if I could use a better brush, but honestly, I like this brush. It gets the job done very well. So as you can see, as I'm like brushing the brush outwards, it's like defining my curls. Look at those curls. This hair is lit. I like to go back in with this stuff and only take a little tiny bit, like that much, literally that much. A little goes a long way, just remember that. And I put it towards the ends of my hair and I kind of just go over it again with the brush. I literally am finished guys this is all I do and now I'm just going to let my hair air dry I do not use any diffuser or anything I just let my hair dry on its own that's like the best for me I just let it do its own thing so I will come back and let you guys know when this hair dries I'm gonna give it some time it's super soft try not to touch it and mess with it like I am just to avoid any frizziness but yeah, this is the hair while it's wet. How do y'all like it? Yes. So I will come back when this is completely dried. Hey, my beautiful gems. I am finished. This hair is still kind of damp. But the last thing that I do in the process of getting these curls, I just use the Argan Oil. This is the same thing as my shampoo. So it's their Argan Oil. And this is a heat protectant, but I do use it um, for my hair anyway. So when my hair is dry, I like to use an oil. So I use this much. Same thing. I just start at the top and then work the oil into my hair. And this is to reduce some of the frizz. Now the hair is, whoa, the hair is still damp so it is still drying at the moment um honestly i believe that it can get a little bigger like not by much but it can probably get like a little bit bigger because for the most part it is dry and it took about like two hours for it to get like this if i gave it maybe like another hour it'd probably be fully dry by then 
Um, it's just the fact that I wanted to go somewhere, so I'm like, all right, I gotta go. It's still damp up in here. But for the most part, this is the bottom of the curls. So I do have some like weird straight pieces. And I think, where was it? Yeah, I did have like some weird straight pieces. So this is what the hair is looking like four months in. Once again, I did make this into a wig, so if you were to get this sewn in your hair, I'm not sure how that would look. Now, it did get a little frizzy because I was trying on clothes and everything. I feel like if I would have left my hair alone, it probably wouldn't got as bad, but as you can see, these curls are so cute. Look how cute these curls are. Yes. All right, guys. If you like this hair, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any more questions regarding this hair, make sure you comment below. And if you do want to purchase this hair, make sure you use my code CB. I will link it right here so you can get $10 off of your purchase. You know, that is a little something something. And also, I do make wigs and I'm very affordable like I stated in my other video. So y'all better hit me up if y'all want to pop in wig growing from your scalp, okay? We could talk. If you guys want me to update you on this hair, comment below. Maybe I could do like an eight month update. And it feels really soft. It smells so good right now. Get all those products, y'all. I will link everything below once again. I hope you enjoyed this video, babes. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are new. And if you're a returning subscriber or a new subscriber, I will see you in my new video. <laughs> Bye, guys.